Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat an out-of-date bacon and ketchup batch, okay? Now, for some strange reason, one of these on its own, just this batch alone, which I'll show you in a moment, normally costs £2.50, okay? You'll see a reduced sticker on there. Um, maybe I'm fancy bit, so I'm trying to... And it's reduced, it was reduced down to 25 pence from £2.50 because it was due to expire that day, okay? Now, that was the 27th of May, so it was supposed to expire on the 27th of May. It's currently the 31st of May. Um, recently, our Prime Minister got married. I couldn't possibly have known that um, because it was all until today. Well, not today, but very recently, sorry. Um, because it was kept very private and the public were not told until after it had happened that it had in fact happened. Um, because he wanted to keep it private for some reason, which I do not understand, but that's for another video maybe. Um, so that proves that it really is out of date. I could not have known that, okay, on the 27th of May, okay. Now, I'm going to open it. And this is, by the way, you put this in the microwave, so... Take it out, you've got this, this pouch here, and I'm going to take it out, and what you do is you put the whole thing in the microwave for roughly a minute, okay? But I'm going to see what's actually inside. Now it claims that it is bacon and ketchup. Now normally, I would have said this kind of thing is a bacon butty, normally. But I cannot call it a bacon butty because I haven't put any butter or margarine in it. But often people have things like a bacon butty, like this. And inside you'll notice there's some bacon. And to be honest, I'll have to virtually destroy the batch to show you this. But if you look very carefully, there's a small amount. In fact, it's very minute. But there's a small amount of tomato ketchup that they've put into the top of the batch, okay? And as I say, normally... People would put butter or margarine in this, and um, then they would, um, and then this would be considered a bacon butty. But I can't call it that because there's no margarine or butter in it. So I'm not going to put this as it is. I'm just going to have some little teeny bits, and I just don't I want them to be in the microwave because it's just going to get in the way. So now I've got the batch. Normally you don't open it. Normally you wouldn't open it, but I did that just to show you guys. Okay? So now. I'm going to put this in the microwave for roughly one minute and then um, I'm going to eat it, okay? So I'll see you soon, don't go away.
Okay, guys, and now I'm going to eat it. Now, for something so simple, like um, bacon and tomato, and tomato ketchup, it's got a whole lot of ingredients. Probably the tomato ketchup and the wheat flour, but... And it tells you to recycle the tray. But not the film lid. And that's the outside to you. For those people who don't know. And this is said was Tesco branded. And it said heat to eat. And um, I said leave to stand for a minute. So that's why I'm doing this at the moment. Now. I've just took it out. And I've brought it up. So okay right. Anyway. It is what it is. It says it consists of wheat flour, which consists of wheat flour. Yes, wheat flour consists of wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, and then as well as that, um, it also consists of smoked bacon, 23%, which consists of pork, salt, and toxidant, which they say is sodium ascorbate, also consists of preservative sodium nitrate and all that is to do with the um, bacon and it's got as well as that it's got some water tomato paste tomato passata sugar yeast spirit vinegar salt rapeseed oil emulsifiers it says it's got mono and diglycerides i think diglycerides i, I, I don't know how to pronounce it and fatty foods mono and diacetyl tartaric acid esters of oh god Mono and diglycerides of fatty acids, sodium, stereol, to lacitate, comma, corn flour, palm fat, flour treatment agent, which is absorbed ascorbic acid, acidity regulator, acetic, acetic acid, white pepper, garlic powder, clove, and said made using British pork, okay, so they've decided to be patriotic here. For some strange reason, a lot of food I've got from, Ta from Tesco, they tend to use Thailand chicken for some strange reason, but here they're using British pork, okay? Anyway. Right, so now, anyway, I'm going to eat it now, okay? Right, so that's about a minute or so gone. So now... I'm just going to eat it. The batch itself is quite hot at the bottom. But I think the bacon starts to go a bit colder. Right, now I'm too warm at the bottom. I'm not warm enough at the top. Or in the middle, for some reason. And then, I tell you what it is, I've had these many times, but with, with butter or margarine, because, for example, if you go to a lot of cafes here, um, you can buy these as takeaways in a lot of cafes. I know in cafes you can sit down and eat, but also in many of the cafes you have here, no one can have takeaways. And this is the kind of typical takeaway you would have in a cafe, but I've always had it with butter or margarine. I do ask you often if you want it, and I always have it normally, so I've, I don't think I've ever had it before without any butter or margarine. I think, truthfully, it's lacking without any butter or margarine, to be honest. And... I don't know their reasons for it. I mean, it can't be because on any kind of ethical grounds, because you know it's got bacon in it. So you know, a vegan, for example, would eat this. So they can't be arguing about you know animal cruelty or whatever. So I've honestly no idea what the reason is why I didn't put any butter in. Maybe it's for slimmers. Maybe it's for people who want to eat something that they're slimming down. I mean, it 
in fairness, I mean, you could pay about £2.50 for something like this. If you paid for it in, you know, a cafe or something, you were just out in town or something, you just wanted a quick, um, hot bag. So, I suppose it's not unreasonable, but considering these are mass-produced, and, to my knowledge, and, you know, and, I don't know if these have been done by machine or not, I have no idea. But, um, you know, in a, in a cafe you have to pay them all to do it by hand and, you know. And them to just be there on demand, whereas, whether people in the shop or not, whereas, something like this, I think it could be much cheaper to be honest. I don't understand why it costs so much, but, you know, it's done. When you consider you've got a box that costs £2.50 normally, or you've got a whole meal consisting lots and lots of ingredients which will cost about £2.50, I think this is a rip-off. But I know many other shops do the same, so I'm not picking on Tesco for this. Many, many shops do things like this for about, or sandwiches for about £2.50. I think it's a rip-off personally, but it's what they sell. So, and also they, they get, um, And so, the bacon had already been cooked professionally before it went in the microwave, so the microwave really just reheated it, okay? Um, some strange reason I say it's new. And it doesn't mean it's a second. It doesn't mean it's a second-hand um, back. It doesn't mean somebody already it, that somebody definitely hadn't already eaten it before. Okay. And it's not that kind of new, right? Um, for anybody learning English who doesn't know what the word what second-hand means, it means used. So, um, you know, if you buy like real products, you know, I mean, by that I mean like not food, um, but things, you know, like electrical goods or anything which, you know, somebody may sometimes not want anymore, they take it into what we call a second-hand shop, um, and, you know, in the past it also be, it used to be called junk shops as well, and when they sold virtually anything, which they don't really do anymore, and people would take an electric, because like, say, for example, someone didn't want a DVD player anymore, they'd just take it into a second hand shop um, and sell it and then somebody else would buy that DVD player okay and that would be called second hand okay because it's not brand new somebody else has used it okay before you bought it okay and so if that isn't the case and you buy it from a, a shop that isn't a second hand shop it will almost certainly be new so generally most electrical goods are things either, either new or second hand or as it's called on eBay, used, okay? So second hand means the same as used on eBay, okay? Anyway, now I was trying to say my joke, but this is for people who don't know English well. And some of those who know English well won't understand, will think why you're saying all this. And they put new, but what they mean is it's a new product range. They don't mean nobody's eaten this beforehand or eaten a bit of it, you know. It means, um... The new product. I'm not sure. It will be very popular without any butter, and I really don't know the reasons why they didn't put butter in it. Maybe they didn't put butter in it because maybe it wouldn't last. Maybe if we put butter in it, it doesn't last as long. I don't know. To be absolutely fair, and that may be the motivation factor behind it. Now, one thing I am going to criticise them for is the, is the way they've advertised this. They have shown here the Gauguin microwave. 
the phone here is the mother microwave and it says 2 minutes 10 seconds now somebody might look at that quickly and think oh that means I've got to put in the microwave for 2 minutes and 10 seconds and if I hadn't read the back and just looked at that I probably would have done too but what they mean it by this is to say that you should put in the microwave for 1 minute and 10 seconds and then leave it for one minute rather than having it spinning around turned on in the microwave for two minutes and ten seconds so this could be misleading if somebody just read it quickly okay okay i've nearly finished now practically so i said bacon and ketchup back okay as I said normally we would consider this a bacon butty but I can't call it that because there's no butter in or margarine okay anyway thanks for watching guys bye